Whenever someone talks about Korean cuisine, kimchi and bibimbap are the pioneers of the conversation. But I thought about the sweeter aspects of this cuisine and thus stumbled upon kwa begi, the Korean style of donuts. Upon further research, I learned that this is very similar to a regular donut. The difference being how it's allowed to ferment and the kneading process. Knowing this, I decided to make an innovative take on kwa begi in a creme brulee style. The first component of my dish is creme patisserie, which is a vanilla custard. My take on this custard was to make it a miso or a denjang version. This adds a depth of flavor to the custard and the saltiness of the miso cuts through the sweetness of all the sugar in the custard. Keep in mind, while using miso, do not bring it to a boil unless absolutely necessary as it ruins the flavor of miso. Once the custard is thickened, transfer it to a clean, dry vessel and cover it with cling film such that the film touches the top of the custard to avoid skin formation. Let it rest for about 3 to 4 hours in a fridge. The second component is the kwabegi itself. The traditional recipe calls for plain flour only, but I made my version using 2 parts flour and 1 part rice flour. I made this change in order to give more chewiness to the dough, considering rice flour's powerful thickening power. Considering rice flour's thickening powers. Let yeast bloom in room temperature milk and butter for 5 minutes and add egg to the mix. In a separate bowl, add flour, rice flour, sugar and a pinch of salt. Mix thoroughly and create a well in the center. Add the milk mixture to the well and start incorporating by hand. Once you get a shaggy dough, transfer it to a clean table and knead till smooth. Transfer it to a clean bowl and let it rise. This is where Kwabegi's uniqueness starts coming in. While regular yeasted doughs undergo bulk fermentation only once before shaping, Kwabegi undergoes it twice. <clears throat> the first time is an hour long, after which the dough is punched down, reshaped and set to ferment again. This lasts 45 minutes, after which the dough is taken out, punched down and cut into equal size pieces. These pieces are, shape, are shaped which brings out the second unique feature of Kwabegi. Each piece of dough is rolled into a long strand and the ends are twisted in opposite direction. The dough is then braided and allowed to rest for further half hour, after which, after which the dough is deep fried in hot oil. Deep frying lasts for about 2 minutes on either side or until the dough turns golden brown. The traditional recipe calls for a dusting of sugar, but my take started from here. I added a layer of the miso custard to the center and on the top, to get the brulee effect, I coated it with a soy infused caramel. I use soy caramel because soy is the most popular sauce in Korean cuisine. The triple fermentation of this dough and the kneading style contributes to increased chewiness and softness of the dough compared to other bread doughs, which is why I like kwabegi more than the other doughs. <laughs> 